What is up, plungers? It's your boy Chase coming back to you with another edition of The Architect in Ark Survival Ascended. Thanks for tapping in. And since I know you're going to like it, before it slips your mind, why don't you go ahead and just click that like button right now? It's anonymous and a free way to show some support if you rock with it. If you got any tips or comments or questions or well wishes, just leave those in the comment section too. I appreciate you all. Let's get into it. Get your snacks and beverages and enjoy this build because it took me a while with a lot of dedication and love and care. So, so far we've had the compound, the aviary, the herbivore center, the bungalow, the treetop rooftop, the taming arena, and the Brooklyn brownstone the makeshift Brooklyn Brownstone. It is my distinct pleasure to reveal to you, after many hours of work, the Dinatorium. I'll let you drink all of this in for a moment. The perspective doesn't give the scope of this justice. It's massive. At some point, I'll get to enclosing all of it and creating a functional zoo. I'm collecting them in pairs like Noah. I currently have 10 or 11 different dinos. Tech doors are the absolute best access for flyers, so you can put them up high. And speaking of flyers, let's talk about this griffin for a moment. Her name is Aura, and she was a difficult tame because she's very strong, and of all the tames, all the tames I have, she's the only one that wasn't the result of being a baby of a parent that I unalived. She prefers raw prime meat over exceptional kibble, which is interesting because I put both in her inventory and she only ate the prime meat. And uh, I felt that she needed regal colors, gold and crimson. Let's go inside. And here we enter the main hall. And right over there, you see I got uh, Charlie Rex. He's a fully imprinted 2054 mutation 20 stack dinosaur of that specific color that I breeded. But as you can also see, this hall is way big enough to hold a decent amount of dinosaurs at once, if necessary. Up here, we have the garden slash atrium, and I have some large crop plots. And as soon as I decide what I'm gonna put in them, I will put them. And I have a cooking and crafting station for all the ingredients that you will find in the garden here, using some of the natural foliage of the area to my advantage with the vaulted greenhouse ceilings with adequate light to provide greenhouse effect for all your planting needs. You have easy exterior access through this uh, patio door right here. And remember, whenever stepping into the wild, always stay armed. Oh, and I got back an ascended pistol, by the way. But yeah, let's go back up in here. And this leads us back out into the main hall. And we will head back over here where we find a nice other little deck or overlook or whatever you want to call it. And we head down here and we got this little room, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> and then you head over this way. As of yet, this uh, entire place is probably only 20% furnished. I'm going to figure out what to do with everything and then moving the whole operation from the last location to this one is gonna be a process, but uh, this is the next base I wanna live in. So I'm gonna make it livable and uh, I'll get back to you on how that works too. So basically this building is just a lot of cavernous empty spaces with so much potential, so much room for activities. I'm going to bring all kinds of dinosaurs in here because the smaller ones, you could set them on wander and they could have pretty much free roam of this place. And that would be awesome to make it like a real Jurassic Park, an arc, 
especially for a place this size. This is it's a massive place. I think I could fit the entire operation in here and like vacate the other ones. That's probably what I'm going to do and just raise a massive squad of all a bunch of different dinosaurs and have the different locations set for specific dinosaur types, I guess. I don't know. I'll figure it out and pathways and walkways throughout each and catwalks and walking platforms to observe the dinosaur. It's going to be so cool. Like the vision I have in my head, it's going to be so cool. Well, if you've been paying attention, you'll know that if a game lets me create something, I'm going to create with it. And if it gives me some secret doors, I'm going to use me some secret doors to make some secret passageways. OK, this is one of two in this place. Believe it or not, I could have squeezed a lot more in here, but this is one of two. And again, when this place is fully furnished and operational and up and running, I think you'll you'll be impressed. I'm even impressed at the vision of the ideas that I'm having. I can't wait to share it with you guys. I hope you've been watching while I've been rambling along because I feel like some of the visuals are self-explanatory. There's no need for me to really explain a lot of this stuff. Um, yeah, it is what it is. It's a huge place. I got a lot of plans for it. It is going to be what it is. So this is the project, the current project right now that I'm going to be working on. It includes taming just about every animal on the base, um, water tames, reptilian tames, mammals, all kinds of stuff. I'm going to really, really get deep down and dirty with this. And I haven't even touched Scorched Earth or Bob's Big Adventures. I think it's Bob's Big Adventures, something like that. Bob's, because I'm a Bob myself. I just recently found out what that was called. But that I say that to say this. This Ceratosaurus that everybody's been posting videos about how difficult it is to tame and all of that. Well, guess what? All I did was unallowed this one's parents. Well, actually not this one. This one's grandparents parents and I caught him and then went right back to Carno Island, which is a gold mine, by the way, and found two more with child and did the same thing. First one was a male. Second one was a female. I had no need to use any of those. What are those things? Those those things that look like watermelons. Well, I got a bunch of those. I made a bunch of the, the gel that you got to feed to your dinosaur. And this one eats your dinosaur and gets drunk off of it. And yeah, it's, it's a whole convolute thing when you could just capture an imprinted baby and that's what I did so I imprinted them and I'm working on these alphaing these and I'm also working on a special NYX colored uh, dinosaur so stay tuned for all of that it's coming and it's on the way I am having so much fun building and exploring and playing Ark that if you are one of my regular Forza viewers, I apologize, but it looks like Forza is going to be taking a back seat for a little while. I'll finish off the series that I'm working on, but if nothing significantly new comes about, then, you know, maybe some car reviews here and there. But this game, this game is potentially great for content. Just I have so many ideas like my mind is mind is aglow with whirling transient nodes of thought careening through a cosmic vapor of invention Ditto. overwhelming with ideas and here we have these beautiful double staircases that i'm quite proud of that you would think would lead to a main entrance but they do not However, when you ascend these stairs, these magnificent, beautiful stairs, you come to a large room and then you open into a massive, and I think I've used that word about five or six times in this video. So a humongous room in which I will likely place all my tech gear. So this is probably going to be like the stark tower of the entire build. It's going to be awesome in here. Like going to be awesome. Can't wait to start building this. And then it's got this balcony that goes 360 degrees around. And man, I love this place. Well, that's pretty much the build, guys. Thank you for tapping in. And as always, wait to the end for a special treat 
takes a little humor to keep you going. And uh, so enjoy the rest of this sped up and uh, have a good one. Peace. I am now 100% sure that you are watching cartoons. Indulge me. For one second, pretend that I'm an idiot. Okay, I'm there. Thank you.